Alrighty, service costs, allocation, using activity-based costing. Don't forget, guys, companies in all sectors of the economy, whether it be service department costs, whatever it may be, okay, they can make use of activity-based costing, okay? User departments, assigning overhead to final products. So there's that direct method, all right? Remember, that's the most widely used and it's less complex, but it's the most widely used way to allocate service costs. So each service department's total costs are directly allocated to the production departments. And here's the key, guys. Remember, direct method without recognizing that service departments themselves may use the services from other service departments. It doesn't recognize that without recognizing that. So let's do the direct method. Alrighty, so we have two service departments. We have the controller's office. We have general counsel. All right, controller's office, cost 360, general counsel 495. All right, the activity center for the controller's office, all right, reporting, and then with the cost drivers, how many reports are prepared. So we have three departments, one, two, and three. So we take the number of reports for departments one, two, and three, edit together, we got the thousand. General counsel, what's driving the 495, the legal services? Well, billable hours. Department 1 is 550, Department 2, 880, Department 3, 770, added across, you got 2,200 hours. Okay, so we move on to our next step. Here we go. Alrighty, so now with the direct method, take a look what we're doing. So for the controller's office, follow with me. We have $360,000 of total cost, that's in our numerator. We divided that by the total reports for all three departments, 400 plus 360 plus 240, the thousand. We've got a rate for the controller's office of 360. We repeat that, general counsel, we need a rate, an overhead rate. All right, well they have costs of 495, 495,000. The cost driver there was billable hours, 550 plus 880 plus 770, 2200 hours. Divide that into the 495. Now we have for general counsel an overhead rate of 225. So we want to assign our $855,000 in cost to Department 1, Department 2, Department 3. So how are we going to assign that $855,000 of cost to each of the departments? So for Department 1, we say, hey, did you use the controller's office? Yes, you did. 400 hours. Multiply that by the 360, you're going to get 144 of the 360. Department 1, did you use the general counsel? Yes, you did. 550 billable hours at the 225 rate, you're going to get 123,750 of the 495 in general counsel. Total cost allocated to Department 1, 267,750. We repeat that. Department 2, hey, did you use the controller's office? Yes, the reports prepared with 360. Multiply that by the rate of 360, coincidentally, 129.6. Department 2, did you use general counsel? Yes, we do. Department 2, 880 hours at the overhead rate of 225. You're going to get 198 of the 495. So total for Department 2, the sum of the controller's office, 129.6 plus the 198, 327.6. Department 3, did you use reporting? Yes, you did. You had 240 reports at 360 a report. You're going to get 86,400 of the 360. Department 3, did you use general counsel? Yes, you did. Billable hours of 770. That's a lot. 770. That's uh, the second most. So 770 times the 225, that's 173,250 of the 495. Total cost allocated to Department 3, the 86.4 plus the 173.25, 259,650. So the total costs of 855 are therefore allocated to Department 1, Department 2, Department 3, depending upon how much they use of the controller's office versus general counsel. And remember, when you do the direct method, if you have a theory question, each service department's total costs are directly allocated to the production departments without recognizing that service departments themselves may use the services from other departments. Well, what if we do want to recognize that? Then we go to the step-down method, guys. So before we take a look at the numbers here, remember, step-down method could also be called the sequential method, but it's a more sophisticated approach to allocate the service costs when you have more complex situations. 
service department costs now are going to be allocated to other service departments as well as production departments. So let's take a look now and see how this works. So our initial setup is the same, but now we've added, guys, a fourth column. Take a look at this. General counsel, how many reports did they prepare? So now with the controller's office, that $360,000, which we were allocating to just departments one, two, and three, we're saying, wait a second, general counsel, we prepared 200 reports for you. Alrighty, so we just added that fourth column. That's what's new with the step-down method. We're saying general counsel, you prepared, just like these three departments, we had to prepare 200 reports for you. So you know what? You've got to be allocated some of the controller's office cost is going to be allocated to general counsel. So, all right, department one, 400 reports. Department two, 360. Department three, 240. Now we've added the fourth column, General counsel, we prepared 200 reports for you. So now the total number of reports for the controller's office went from 1,000 to 1,200. So look what we do. Controller's office had costs of $360,000. That didn't change. But now we're allocating that over 1,200 reports rather than 1,000. So now our rate went from what it was a second ago, 360, when we divided by 1,000 reports. Well, now we're dividing by 1,200 reports, so our rate's now gone down to $300. So that's one difference with the step-down method. Okay, now. Now the general counsel. The general counsel used to have costs of 495000 right? 495000 But check this out. We're saying, hey, general counsel... We prepared 200 reports for you at a cost of $300 per report. So when you take the $300 per report times the 200 reports that were prepared for the general counsel, well, folks, that's $60,000 of cost that has to be allocated to general counsel. So check this out. Whereas before we had costs for general counsel of $495, it's no longer $495. It's now $555,000. Where did we get that? Well, it's the original $495,000 from the original fax plus the $60,000 for the controller office reports, the cost for the 200 reports. So if you take that $495,000 plus that $60,000, that's where we got the $555,000 now. Notice the billable hours for general counsel didn't change. That's still 2,200 hours. The 555 gets divided by 2200, but now we have a rate of 25227. Before it was only 225, now it's 25227. No change to the denominator, still 2200 hours, but now we're allocating $60,000 of the controller's cost is being stepped down from the controller to the general counsel so that the general counsel cost went from 495 up to 555. Alrighty, now we do it all over again. You ready? Controller's Office Department 1. Where did we get the $120,000 from? Well, how many reports did we prepare? 400 at a cost per report of 300. That's where we got the 120. Department number 1 still has billable hours of 550. But instead of multiplying that what we did before, the 225, we're now multiplying by 252.27 to get 138,750. Department 1's total cost 258,750. Department 2. No change there. 360 reports except that we're multiplying it by a lower rate of 300 versus 360. So now that's only 108,000. When we take a look at department 2, billable hours no change. 880, but now we're multiplying it by 25227 rather than the 225. So that's now 222,000. Total to department 2, 330. Department 3. Still 240 reports, but now multiplied by 300 rather than 360, that's only $72,000. Billable hours for department 3 still 770, but multiplying by 25227 rather than the 225. So that's now a total of 194,250. Total to Department 3, 266, 250.
If you add across the totals by department, we still get 855. Okay, we still get $855,000. Alrighty. So it's just allocating it a little bit more precisely because with the step down method, we're saying, wait a second. Hey, step down method, you got to be mindful that the general counsel utilized the controller's office and we prepared 200 reports on behalf of general counsel. All righty. So now if you take a look for the controller's office, when you add across, rather than adding across and adding up to $360,000 for the controller's office, instead of the total cost being 360, it's only 300 because we stepped down 60,000 of that and pushed it onto the general counsel. So the general counsel line now with the step down method, instead of adding across the 495, it's now 555. 495 plus the 60, but any way you slice it, when you add down the total 855, except we push down 60,000 from the controller's office down to the general counsel. All right, and an excellent illustration of step down method as well as the direct method. All righty, guys, good job. Let's move on. Let's do some more math.